I heard you were looking for information on the chalk tool. You come to the right place. Today we're going to learn about the chalk tool and Sketchable app. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator and I'm here to walk you through the chalk tool and Sketchable app. Let's go. Let's get started by opening Sketchable app, available from the Microsoft Store and all Windows 10 devices. Oh yes, get me some Sketchable, let's do this. All right, so next on our list is the chalk tool. There it is right here. All right, so I've made a new layer and let's go ahead and explore. So we have, of course, the natural buildup chalk, the digital buildup chalk, blackboard chalk, ooh, what, blackboard? Scratchboard, yes, scribble, was to change the size and you can kind of see the size changing right here. Oh, wow. I like this for some backgrounds. I wouldn't, this is kind of, uh, I see now, I see what this is good for. To add some backgrounds and texture um, to the artwork so it doesn't look so digital. But then we have the digital buildup job. Okay, I like, and you know what? I like that little textures to it. You get the pressure for thick and thin. And of course, you know, these are on. What if this is just uh, to smooth, help my smoothness if I want it to, to be perfectly smooth. So this is smoother, cleaner. Let's go with that. This is rougher. Yes, I like that. The blackboard. So now this is this. If we wear, let's do this. Let's go ahead and here, here, bang, chalk. So now, oh yes, yes. So we're writing on the chalkboard. Oh, so this could be like, um, mm, like some plants or something, right? So I'm doing. I'm drawing some plants. Where are you? There it is. A floor plan. <laughs> and then there's a room here. There's a wall. And then another wall right here. Big wall right there. I'm just making stuff up. It's not real. Whoa. And then, and now I have like this, these, uh, these plants. Oh, and it's the chalk. I like that. Mm, mm, mm. Make it really white. Let's see what happens. Yes, 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 yes. Then I sign it. Boom. DTM drew this for you. Word up. Okay, what do we got? We got the scratch board. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how it turns. Nice. Oh, yeah. I think it's better for like the long strokes. I like that. The scribble. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Try a different layer. Turn this one off. And let's get a color. There it goes. Right there. Yes. Yeah, very, very um, light. This is similar to, I think I did use that one before already. Yep. Okay. The roughly. Uh huh. So it just looks like a bigger version of it. The chalk. Huh, like a sponge, a big sponge, you just tap. Nice, and it rotates on its own. <laughs> and then the last one is the scratch board too. Hmm. Very cool, very nice. And you can make it smaller, bigger, get some more, um, get some less flow there, or opacity. 
and build it out. This is great. You know what? I just really thought that uh, I was only going to stick with the pen and the pencil. But checking out how these other tools work gives me ideas on what I can do when it comes to background. Of course, here we go. Let's go ahead and find a good one that I like. This is the chalkboard, right? I like the chalkboard. So now that I know what my chalkboard is, let me see. Yep, let me clean layer. There's a the chalkboard. Got it. I can go ahead and uh, duplicate and, uh, and it jumps it to the back. The new duplicated version, the new version of the tool that I just duplicated ends in the back. Sometimes I need to say things a couple of times to get it right. There you go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now I can go into the settings and see what it is that I have here. Uh, blend mode. Oh, nice, nice. So I could change the blend mode. I never really thought about this part. This is good. Uh, I can be always multi uh, multiply, and that's what that is. Oh. You can do as a dodge, color dodge. Not much happening there. I guess I need more colors to really see that as an effect. And uh, let's go here. <laughs> Linear light. I'm just playing around. It is great to see all these different things and how they work because then it helps you figure out, well, what could I do with my art that this actually adds an element that I hadn't thought about. Uh, let's see the profile. So we got the fat one, that's okay. Again, all these feathers and angles and flows and then brightness and fingers and then the paper settings. <sighs> right. So let's go back because everything starts right here with the concrete. But what if I go, mm, that one's kind of cool waves. I want it kind of rough. Oh yeah, like that one. What's that? This is uh, says digging. Stars, a little like stars. Grunge. Uh-huh, there it is. Let's go like that, like that, boom. And then uh and so all these little grungy edges are taken on are, are, are reacting to the paper that we chose okay so let's go here all right very different very different in how these textures react what nice Woo! <laughs> well what do you think so far you think that's something that you want to play with and, and uh, explore to see how it fits with your art I think that you should try it out. This is it, this is DTM telling you. Try it out, have some fun with it just like I am. Let's try that, that's good. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, and I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Sketchable insights. Until next time. Yeah, next time, right now, I'm about to play.